Okay, good day, guys. Uh, we meet again in our YouTube channel. All right, it's been a while since uh, I created any uh, YouTube video. But as, as usual, uh, what uh, we will be talking today, uh, something to do about uh, backing up your website, uh, your WordPress website. As you are aware, uh, in my channel, I share with you guys uh, some tips and strategies on digital marketing. Uh, in this case, uh, this is regarding our website. In case you already have a website, uh, and uh, this is one of uh, the videos that I'll be creating on on a website, especially a WordPress website, since that is the focus of my channel, which is to educate and uh, my views on uh, WordPress websites, whether it's uh, designing it or developing it or even maintaining it. All right. Uh, to those of you who, who are already having a website, I think the most important thing that you need to do now is actually get uh, it a backup. Mm -hmm. Why do we need to backup? Because many things. Sometimes, uh, from what my experience uh, of maintaining quite a lot of websites, if you do not backup your website, in case, for example, there are, uh, for example, there's going to be conflict of plugins or sometimes uh, certain updates on WordPress core software which cause conflict with existing teams or existing plugin that will cause problems in your website. Sometimes we just go blank. Huh? So there'll be problem. So if you don't back up your website, you'll be in trouble. Okay. Uh, as a good, as a good uh, practice, at least if you are an active if your website is active, for what means active is that, for example, you are an e-commerce store where you have a lot of transactions being done daily, you need to work, you need to back up the website. I suggest on a daily basis. You need to do it on a daily basis. But for example, if you are just uh, a normal website, which is which you don't have any uh, you know, active updates on the website, maybe once a month is sufficient. But for example, if you are active in blogging, depending on how frequent your blogging that you want to do, you are going to do. If you are, for example, you are updating like two or three uh, posts a month, then you need to at least back it up uh, at least once a week. So depending on your circumstances and your situation, if you are in a commerce website, you need to block, back, it, back it up every day. If you are uh, just doing blogging, Maybe once a week is sufficient for you, but if you are just a normal, uh, for example, a corporate website, maybe uh, which has no updates at all, once a month is sufficient. So what I'll be sharing with you today is how we're going to back up a WordPress website if in case you want to do it yourself. If your, your developer is doing it for you, that's fine. But bear in mind, there's quite a lot of developer unless, uh, unless you engage them on a, some sort of a maintenance sort of program with them they will never they will never back up your website so i think it's good for you to know how to back up your website on your own but if you do not have time or you are very lacking in some technical expertise maybe you can engage them to back it up for you uh, and get them to do it maybe like once a month or once a week or even daily basis depending on your circumstances. All right. So uh, this is uh, one of our our website that I'm going to be showing you. Uh, we'll be backing, up, backing it up. Uh, all right. So these are all basically the plugins that are installed. So what what I what I suggest there's quite a lot of plugins that uh, you can use to back up our website. But what I'm using is actually this plugin. This is called All-in-One uh, WP Migration Plugin. Okay. So this is the plugin, All-in-One WP Migration. I think what you can do, you can just go to WordPress uh, repository. Uh, so let me just go to plugins. So this is the plugin. 
This is the plugin. Uh, what is it? Okay, this is the plugin. All in one WP migration this is the plugin that we need to back up. So if you want to look at the details, we can just click here. These are the details of the plugin. All in one WP migration. So I'm using this as a backup. I've actually tried a couple of plugins, but I like this plugin because it's quite easy to back up and uh, even to to restore it again onto another website is also easy. So I'm going to be doing another video how to restore the, this particular plugin uh, on another fresh uh, fresh site. But in this video, I just want to share with you how to back up this website. So we just, this is the plugin that uh, we'll be using. So, uh, so what we need to do now, okay, this is the plugin. So what we need to do now, we just click on the menu here. Okay. So, there's a couple of things we can do. We can export, we can import, or we can backup. So, so we just click backup. So, in this case, I already back it up five days ago. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to be deleting this backup because I do not want to uh, have uh, the backup previously to be backup again. So, I first I delete it first. So I delete this first. So now I'm going to uh, be creating a fresh new backup. Just click backup here. So we're going to wait. I think depending on the size of your your website, it may take you between uh, two to three minutes. In my experience, if you have a big website, uh, it may take you longer. But let's wait for a couple of minutes. So this is a live video. So actually, you can see how how long it's going to take you to backup the website because it's not recording. So. If I record this video, then you, I, you, you, you will not know exactly how long it takes to, to back up the website. So since this is live, you can see how long it's going to take you to back up this website. So let's see. Let's wait for a while. Still doing its backup. It's only like forty percent complete. So now it's now exporting the database. That's it. So altogether, the backup is ready now. The size of the website is 246 megabytes. So, okay, uh, that's how you backup website is very simple so once we uh, finish backing up the website uh, we can click here to download the files and keep it somewhere you know in your disk drive or whatever just click here so the website will be downloaded so depending on your internet speed it may take a couple of minutes uh, for you to actually retrieve the website on your hard disk. So, okay, uh, that's about it. My video today on uh, on how to back up the website. So, hopefully, you guys uh, have some idea on how to do it. And good luck on uh, backing up your WordPress website. All right. Thank you very much. That's about it. See you guys uh, on our next video. Okay, bye-bye.